Never have I ever been a total fangirl. I've been a fangirl for so many different things. I was a fangirl for The Hunger Games. Loki uh, was the biggest fan of the books. I was a fangirl for Harry Potter. I was a fangirl for a myriad of bands. Yeah, definitely. Ever had an embarrassing moment on set? There's one moment where I just straight up fell directly onto the ground. I was running through like these muddy hills, slipped, ate shit. <laughs> it just wrecked my entire wardrobe. Wardrobe had to switch it out for a new entire uh, outfit. I felt really bad. Never have I ever read someone's mind. I don't think so. I mean, I can guess, but I don't think I've actually directly read anyone's mind. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo? I don't have any. Never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush? Oh yeah, definitely. My girlfriend, uh, my friends. We're pretty lenient about that. Is that gross? I don't think so. I think it's normal. Never have I ever been hypnotized? No. Never have I ever had an embarrassing username online? Um, next Halle Berry was my, <laughs> was my star doll username back in the day. <laughs> Got a bruise from a stunt? Yes. The harnesses can be kind of gnarly sometimes. Sometimes you end up with bruises on your body. Never have I ever rode a motorbike? Never. Gone skinny dipping? Yes. Done that a few times. Probably the most memorable one that I did was I was in Copenhagen for the summer. My dad is from Denmark, so I was visiting some family out there and it was raining hard. And it's kind of a thing that Danish people do in the summertime is they'll jump into the canals. So me and some of my Danish friends skinny dipped in the canal while it was pouring rain. And then we got out really quickly because we realized lightning was striking and we were in a body of water. Can you talk about a specific scene for you that you enjoyed the most when it comes to stunts? There's just one scene where my character Ruby and Liam are basically messed with by another blue who has the power of telekinesis. And so he zips us up into the air and spins us around and tosses us through this mall, through all these balloons and this intricate setup of mall toys and clothes and all kinds of stuff. And that was probably the most fun to film just because me and Harris were strapped to each other and just being spun around and tossed around on a cart and all kinds of fun stuff. It was it was so fun that we were smiling and laughing the whole time and the director had to come up to us and say like, hey, your character's supposed to be terrified and you guys are grinning and you look like you're having a great time. What is your standout funny moment? There's a scene where we're talking about eating chili. Skyland just kept delivering this line. It was just cracking us up, like we could barely get through it. He would make jokes every time that were slightly different and just throw different uh, lines at us and see how we would react. Did you read all the books when you, when you signed yeah. up for this role? Yeah, well I read the first one. I actually have, I don't know if people will get mad at me for that, but I haven't read the second one or the third one or the fourth one. Or, now I think now the sixth one's coming out. Just because I was only trying to conceptualize what was in front of me, not necessarily put the pressure on myself of seeing where the character develops past that point because I felt like that's what I wanted to focus on, but I think now I'm definitely going to head into reading the, the rest of them. For the fans out there of the books, are there hopes that this is the start of a new sort of franchise? Yeah, I definitely think the fans of the book want that. We want that. That would be fantastic. We don't know if it's going to happen, and we, don't, we haven't placed large expectations on it, but that would be fantastic. Is there a deleted scene that didn't make it into the movie that you can remember that that might turn up in a Blu-ray or something later down the line. Early in Ruby's journey, when she's still escaping from the camp, that I think was kind of reconfigured. But there's some cool escape stuff that might show up on a Blu-ray or something, I'm not sure. That'd be cool. There have been some comparisons to this and Stranger Things. What do you think of those comparisons? I mean, yeah, in terms of there being like a strong female protagonist, spooky abilities, definitely some, some similar aspects, and also the friendship and, and the group of kids being on the run together is definitely similar in terms of the vibe, but also very different.